Next.js app router and server components are still the thing that many people can't really wrap their hands around. So I decided to create a video and answer one of the most asked questions on my first video, which is, can you really use server component inside client component or just right off the bat, they are considered client component. So let me show you a demo. I've created a pretty simple application when we've, where we've got client component over here and you can see it by the blue border and to show you that it is being a client component I can use an increment button and it updates the state inside and here's our server component with a pink border and it's just you know server component because it does fetches on the server side and it is just random uh, JSON API so let's go to the code and show you how it looks. Here's our page. Uh, it has only a client component and a server component. So let's look how the client component looks like. It is just a pretty basic uh, component that holds state. It has an increment function and it has a button. Let's now go to the server component and what it does, it does fetches to our API and renders in, uh, in the map our cards with a blog post, for example. It, it doesn't really matter. All right, so as you can see here, they are totally separate and now they are not being one in another. As you can see, as you can know actually, you can easily use client components inside server components because you wouldn't be able, for example, to add a button to your let's say some page that renders statically content but can you use server components inside client component let's check it out I'm gonna comment out the server component in our page go to our client and uncomment our server component so currently we are rendering server component inside our client component let's go to our browser and what we've got here is async await is not supported in client components. So is the answer to question no, we can't use server components inside client components? Well, fortunately for us, we can. But there is a small trick. So basically, we can just right off the bat pass server component to our client component. It will not work. But what we can do we can pass it as a children. So I'm gonna just do it right now to show you. Right now client component yells that it's not being given a children. So let's give it. So as you can see here, I've got client component and I'm passing server component to it, but by a children, not directly into use client file. So let's go to our browser and check what we've got here. Well, definitely we've got our server component inside client component. You can really see it by the borders. Let's see whether our client component still works. It works definitely. So let's check the last thing where the request has been done. Because if we go to a network tab, we shouldn't see any request from the client because all the data should be fetched on the server. And let's go to the fetch category, refresh, and not a single fetch request has been made from the client. And we've got already our data here. So here is the HTML that Next.js re-renders re or pre-renders for you on the server. It has all of the data that we need. So this is the proof that you can use server components in a client component. So I hope it helps you. I hope it lets you, you know, wrap your head around it, how it works. And yeah, uh, see you in the next one. Bye.